Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Shibid, here to show you a gypsy vagabond magpie journal, maybe. <laughs> Something like that. Um, this is a custom order and um, instructions were very um, free and easy. It was just um, a colourful gypsy journal. So um, this is what we have come up with. Um, the cover image, I've done a, um, a cut-out window, so it's a little bit indented, so there's that lovely image from the Graphics Fairy, and um, a fabric spine, some vintage music paper, and I've used this applique embroidery, um, which I thought went very nicely with the theme. Um, I've just coloured this a little bit because this kind of fuchsia pink is very tricky sometimes to match very well and it but this was a very bright pink it kind of has a bit of a blue tint to it so I think the match came out very well in the end um, I've just inked over it and just a little bit of pink around the edges that's the spine and that's the back okay you have to excuse my grubby, inky fingers today and a bit wintry as well. Poor wintry hands. I hope we'll improve soon as spring is warming up. So um, I think this will be a fairly quick video because there's nothing new to show you really. Just on some nice uh, colourful inked pages. Um, this is quite a cool thing actually. Um, it's about it's the moon's phases for the year 1886 and I've just added this little pressed flower and I've no idea how to pronounce this. Moon's perigee and apogee. So I suppose that's waxing and waning. It has all the um, calendar dates which is a super cool little thing. Um, so we have a little kind of a, it's not a story, but a character perhaps attached to this journal. And um, she is a young woman um, who lives as a gypsy. And she likes collecting um, curiosities and, and things that take her interest. Um, so this is perhaps, she is a little girl. I just found this image and thought it suited very nicely. There's a big pocket there. Um, just a few extra pages. And some really beautiful eco dies here. And so this is a kind of a scrapbook, I suppose, and she just collects little bits and pieces and sticks them in, much like we do today. Um, lots of stitching, lots of little scraps in this uh, journal. And I like this flower fairy because she looks like a gypsy too. I've made some of these little labels with stitching just um, to put a few words of your own. I know that this lady doesn't want to do too much writing. So you will see lots of pictures that she's collected of pretty ladies and actresses and little snips that she's got from the theatre, much as young ladies do today. You'll see lots of plant transfers and lovely inked pages and lots of these kind of collage elements too. Just um, it's a bit kind of random and eclectic. Some vintage ledgers. Some embroideries. And that's a beautiful um, grass print. 
printed with ink. There's some lovely um, eco dyes that I'll tell you about in a moment when I get to a, a better example. This is a poem from a vintage book called The Vagabond. Gypsy image. This is another traveller's poem, uh, The Road Not Taken, with some beautiful trim there. Some more leaves and plants here. There's a lot of um, foreign texts and things that she's collected. some fussy cuts and um, the eco dies you'll see some leaf shapes here but what, what you'll also see this is perhaps again not the best example let's carry on and see what happens um, a vintage book cover that I've altered so that you can put your own title here so you can clearly see some of the leaf shapes here uh, vintage tea card uh, oh <laughs> twice that was clever um, and another poem here the jolly beggars I think that was a song from a vintage book and another teeny embroidery and this lovely um, trim here was a gift from Nazi thank you Nazi it's really beautiful I've been waiting for a chance to use it um, and so I've just used it as this um, for this vine to grow up um, up put up the a vine to grow up it has these lovely sequins on the edges here um, this is quite nice if you fold your paper before it goes in the tea dye you can get some really nice um, effects on the creases here yeah, um, before it goes in the bath and uh, here you can see it on the coloured pages as well looks very cool some more leaf transfers here this is actually a scan from a, a vintage scrapbook where people, somebody has collected some little calendars and bits and pieces some stitching uh, lines this is a little gypsy saying Some more fussy cuts on this music. I think this is German. This is a pocket here, and with, again with the eco dye. I tried a different method today. I've been watching um, a lovely lady called Sonia, and um, she has her channel, and um, I haven't written it down. So it's it's Sonia with a J. S O N J A, and then it's a space, and then it's an initial M, M for mother. So um, Sonia has a slightly different method to mine with her eco dyes, and I've been watching her, and I thought I'd just try something different this time, um, and it's worked out very well with um, onion skins. Here is what I've used, um, and I have used onion skins before in the 
actual bath of water um, and I've used them also for tanning uh, if you're um, preparing cloth for eco dye, new cloth um, but in this instance what Sonia has been doing is, is putting it in with the actual leaves and you get some really beautiful colours and lovely effects uh, from this so um, I'm definitely going to be doing that more so thank you Sonia for your and she has a, a really uh, cool tutorial as well um, that you can follow easily um, so another little image that I thought suited well so she I think that this little girl is actually just weeding and being a good little girl but <laughs> it looked quite funny with the um, the gypsy themes that she, she was possibly pilfering from this garden not to say that all gypsies are pilferers of course oh that's just a little note for the buyer a lovely little um, vintage embroidery very pretty it's this um, <clears throat> excuse me don't know what's happened to my language skills today this is um, a place <laughs> another vintage tea card and this is a very unusual um, very pretty postcard from Sweden I think and something I don't understand here which um, sorry I don't think it's Sweden at all I think it's Keswick yeah I bought it from a local um, uh, the stall place so I believe it is the Lake District printed in Sweden um, it says this card is an actual photograph by GP Abraham and I don't quite understand what that means does that mean it, it is an actual photograph or does it mean it's taken from an actual photograph it does have a very unusual finish I hope that you can see that so I'm just showing you so that if anyone does know what that means please let me know because I'd be very interested in that I'm not sure if it has a date I don't think it has a date there Um, okay, so skeleton leaves, more um, eco dyes with some stamping, you can see more of these folded pages here, and this is a lovely passage um, this was actually on the back of one of the poems I inserted so I wanted to also include this um, so I've just done this on the computer and the book that it was taken from calls it um, Titania's Courtesy to the Wayfarer and this is um, if you don't know the Midsummer Night's Dream story um, the fairies occupy the woods and as the humans in the story come into the woods one by one um, the fairies are kind of doing things in the background and talking about them and, and going about unseen by the people and Titania, um, queen of the fairies so she calls her four servant fairies and as this one particular gentleman comes into the woods um, she says be kind and courteous to this gentleman hop in his walks and gamble in his eyes Feed him with apricots and dewberries, with purple grapes, green figs and mulberries. The honey bags steal from the humble bees. Actually, I won't read it all. I'll just do that because I'm taking ages. Um, and then she ends with nod to him elves and do him courtesies. So I thought that was really sweet that we were being looked after in that sense. And so I've just coupled that with the library card being from Midsummer Night's Dream. It's a really beautiful passage. Here's another baby embroidery. 
some um, spring crocuses and there's a little bag and that has a, a calendar which is super cool from 1886 you can see actually in this one very clearly the um, two shapes of the broken onion skins here alongside this leaf Another Midsummer Night's Dream quote. I like this picture because of the horses and the gypsy theme. And some old receipts. Some plant transfers here. And just with these uh, eco dye pages, I've just done a bit of stitching sometimes, and some have lines on, just to give a little, little framework. There's some more, um, sorry, more crocuses, crocuses, croci, crocus eye. I'm not sure about that one. More stitching. More antique ledger, some wax seals, some little note papers, more stitching on this one. This is, um, I've shown you this envelope when I was doing the, um, a bunch of them, it has some little rose petals. And this is a pocket with a little travelling young woman, kind of a folksy image. The dancer, Song of the Traveller's Joy Fairy, and more scrapbook. Another collage, Fussy Guts. This is a um, graphics fairy image again that I have um, fussy cut and I've put it with this Midsummer Night's Dream quote because it talks about dancing. With some beautiful um, Indian trim and in here just another gypsy dancer picture and this very beautiful um, vintage hanky, I'm not sure, from um, Jenny. Thank you so much, Jenny. And um, I was going to stick this in as a pocket, but actually I couldn't bring myself to. It's too beautiful and delicate. So I've just left it loose. I've just hand-stitched um, up the sides here to make a pocket because I thought it would spoil it, really, machine sewing it. Isn't that pretty? So that is in there. And that's the cover picture. And that's the end. Uh, 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 I haven't shown you the charms. Okay. So there is a locket which opens. It's this lovely glass bead. Lots of uh, enamel porcelain beads. That's um, like an artificial ivory.
that's a little gypsy carriage super cute some bells and lots of jewels and things that take her fancy so that's that um, one thing to tell you or to <laughs> thank you for okay that peculiar noise that you can hear I'm, I'm um, actually sat facing the um, door to the garden and the cat is trying to get in she has a cat flap <laughs> but when I sit here she seems to feel the need to come in this way so she's pouring at the door and scraping um, okay so the other thing that I wanted to say was a very big thank you to everyone who has been visiting my website and thank you for the lovely comments um, there are still a few glitches to iron out I'm doing my best um, so thank you for your patience also um, if you have bought any of the digital downloads and are having trouble um, I will sort it out absolutely definitely um, um, I don't always realize that there's a problem so um, you need to email me yeah that's the cat again sorry <laughs> um, so I, I will sort that out as um, quickly as I can for you um, so just to let you know that the digital downloads um, when you purchase it will automatically just download straight to your computer and it will go into your downloads folder so you should actually see it you know come down down your screen um, if not um, it will also go to your PayPal associated email address so this may not necessarily be the email address that you use most often or um, you know that you have even signed up to this site with it's your PayPal associated email um, so there will be a link in that email also for your download um, and the other thing is that if anyone would like to send me photos <laughs> sorry the cat if anyone would like to send photos of any um, journals that they've bought um, so that we can see the journal in use like um, if you have writing in it if you've used it if you displayed it somewhere um, any photos like that would be really awesome so that I can um, put some of those on the website too so thank you in advance um, and of course it doesn't have to be a journal if you've bought anything from me um, you know just send a, a little snap so thank you very much everybody um, I have a woodland journal coming up next which will be um, not for two or three weeks so it might be a little gap um, have a lovely early spring until I see you next time thanks everybody bye